to my channel. So today I am bringing you guys this makeup look and it's very spring inspired since spring is already here and I know it's been a while since I've been on camera so I thought it would be fun to create something fun and bold. So I decided to go ahead and use this Too Faced White Chocolate Palette because it was screaming my name. I definitely want to use this Lavender next and play with this and do something a little bit different than my usual kind of like smokies and cut crease type of looks. I want to do something more creative and out of the box. Um, I know there's a lot of festivals coming around so I think it'll be fun to kind of play with that color and in that little stick around by subscribing so you guys don't miss out on any more videos and this past month has just been crazy I've seen tremendous growth on my channel and I'm so excited and I want to know how you guys found me what video has driven you guys here and what videos do you guys look forward to seeing from me this these next couple of months with spring and summer coming around I know since I was gone for a while um, I kind of told you guys about it on Twitter but I will be talking about it as soon as I am ready so that is pretty much it go ahead and follow all my social media I am very active on snapchat and I'm trying to do Instagram stories because I know not a lot of people do snapchat anymore but if you guys would like to see how to get this makeup look then just keep on watching and everything you need to know will be down below so I'm going to start off by applying the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on my eyes to cover the discoloration and mix it in with the Wet n Wild Eye Primers to make sure that the eyeshadows last all day. Then for the palette today, the palette I'll be using today is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar and I believe this is a white chocolate bar and it has such beautiful bright shades which I think will be perfect for the spring and summer. I'll be taking the shade Cake Batter and I'm so sorry about the brightness on the camera. I didn't, I had no idea. I'll be blending this into my crease with my Morphe M573 brush in windshield wiping motions. And this is just going to warm up my crease. I wanted to keep it very light but still give some dimension to the eyes. Then I'll be taking Chocolate Truffle, which is a dark brown, and focusing this a little bit more on the outer corners of my eyes for some depth. Since this entire look was based off on this eyeshadow color, I went ahead and dipped my brush into mint chocolate, which is kind of like this green blue. I think it looks a little bit more blue on camera than it did in person, but it's such a gorgeous shade and it is an all matte shade, by the way. So I placed this all over my eyelid and then going back in with that same brush with not adding any more product, I'll just go ahead and blend everything out. Then with a flat brush, I'll be taking the dark shade once again and focusing this on the outer corners of my eyes for more depth. I'll be taking my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara and applying a coat of mascara to my lashes just to prep them for some falsies. I'm gonna move on to the face because I don't want any powder falling on the fake lashes. So I'll be using the Wet n Wild Dewy Face Primer, which I love. As you guys can see, it does give my face this very nice luminous look and it helps my makeup stay on all day. And taking my Makeup Forever HD stick, I will be using this as my foundation. As always, it's one of my favorites. I think it photographs so well and it does last all day out also. And then I'll be blending this into my skin with the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I'll be using the Kevin Aquan concealer for today, which is full coverage, and this stuff does miracles. So I'll go ahead and apply this underneath my eyes, and I'll be blending it out with my foundation brush because honestly, I just feel like it looks the most natural. And 
and then I'll be setting it in place with the Wet n Wild contour palette. For my eyebrows, I'll be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. And going back to the Wet n Wild Contour Palette, I'll be taking the dark shade to contour the sides of my face and bring back dimension. For blush, I'll be taking my 10 color palette from BH Cosmetics. This is kind of an oldie, but a goodie. It contains every single blush color that I seriously need. Then I'll go ahead and take my falsies and apply them here. These are the House of Lashes. I'll have them down below in case if you guys are interested, but they are beautiful eyelashes. And to contour the sides of my nose, I do like to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And to highlight and give my skin some glow, I'm going in with the Mary Luminizer from The Balm. Taking the same shades that I used on my crease, I'll be applying this to the bottom lash line just to smoke everything out. I'll be going in with mascara on my bottom lashes. Taking the white shimmery shade, I'll be placing this on the inner corners of my eyes to make them pop. For lip liner, I'll be taking my Italia in the shade Mauve. And then for lip gloss, I'll be using this Buxom lip gloss. And for the shade name, I'll also have that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for being patient with me and waiting for my videos. I am so excited to finally be sitting here and filming. I swear it took me like less than an hour to do this, which I was kind of... I was super excited to sit here and film and play with colors. So let me know what other looks you guys would like to see next. There's a couple of new palettes that I did get, so I would love to play around with. If there's anything specific you guys would like to see on here, please go ahead and let me know. I'm definitely going to start incorporating a little bit more lifestyle. And I think that pretty much wraps up this video. I don't think I really have much to say other than thank you guys for watching. Love you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.